I wanted to create YouTube Shorts for ages, but honestly, the endless streaming, adding subtitles is just so exhausting. If you're on the same page, I totally get it. But what if I told you that you can come up with an entire month worth of vertical clips to post just within one hour? Watch till the end, because I want to show you how I did that with the help of AI. So the first thing that you're going to need is to sign up for a Riverside account. And it's basically an online podcast and video editing studio all in one place. It's got lots of features and this is going to be what I'm going to be using in order to edit my video all in the browser. The folks at Riverside were kind enough to sponsor this video. So once you've got your account set up, you'll be able to create a project. And that's actually where you record a video also using your browser. You can also upload your files here or even add more files for your editing. With Riverside, you can also upload any existing video that you have. And uh, in my case, I'll be using a 15 minute video I made on how to start a YouTube channel. And uh, while it uploads, which will take a few minutes, I'll get everything else ready. So things such as prepping some extra files, I don't know, image overlays, and just a few music tracks that I wanna use for the video. And once the video finishes uploading, Riverside's AI features automatically generate show notes, as you can see, and this essentially includes a summary, some key takeaways, and even chapters. And I'll be using those key takeaways as the foundation for the YouTube shorts I want to create. And plus, I'm going to be adding some of my own ideas for the clips I want to create out of this longer video. AI is great, but I still want to make sure I add a pinch of my personality to it. And also the tool already generated some vertical ideas with their magic clips function. And I'm going to use them as a base for my first batch of clips. By the way, most of the features I'm going to be showing in this video are completely free to use, including the magic clips. But if you want, for example, to be able to export your videos of up to 4K in quality, or if you want to get rid of the watermark, then you might want to consider upgrading to a paid plan. So now let's dive into the actual editing. So I've selected specific sections of the video that I want to use for the YouTube shorts. And first, I'm going to start with some general prep work. So I'll use Riverside's AI producer to increase the pace of the video so I want to make it just you know more live more vibrant and of course while still keeping that authentic feel to it as you can see it removes 49 pauses and if you hover over this dot here in the script you can see exactly what pauses were caught I'll also apply the smooth speech filter to remove any filler words and you know those awkward pauses that we all always make and I'm going to be using magic audio to enhance the sound quality. I can always revert to original real quick if I don't need a specific effect. For this video I used quite a good mic so most likely I won't need this effect but for example if you record it with your mobile device most likely you can definitely benefit from this feature. Next I'll create the first clip which is going to be about how to find ideas for your first YouTube videos. So I'll highlight the specific part of the script I want to use then I'm going to click on the three dots and select create new edit. So this automatically transforms me to a new view as you can see and let's rename it as as clip one. Here I can tweak the clip as needed. So I'll hide the deleted text just to make the editing just more convenient. Another cool thing about Riverside is that you can delete entire sections by removing text from the transcript and the edits reflect on the timeline. And you can also use the search function by the way to find specific moments by keywords. Super handy. Then I'll make sure the video dimensions are automatically adapted for YouTube Shorts, Reels or TikTok. So I'll then also create auto-generated captions. And uh, as you can see, there are plenty of presets to choose from. I personally love the black and white style. So I'll move the captions a bit down, place them in one line. And I also want to reduce the font size a little bit. I can also customize the background color and the color of the highlighted words just to match the video's style. And I think I also really want to add a catchy phrase or like a question on top. So let's do that as well. This really grabs attention. I'll also be uploading some of my own screenshots to use them as image overlays here. And this is super easy to do with just a few clicks. For some of my videos, I also used their own library of images. 
By the way, if you want to add an image overlay to a specific part of your video, you can just highlight the text where you want it to appear, then click add. And from there, you can choose to add text, music, an image, or even upload your custom files. And this way, the overlay will only show up exactly when you want it to. We can also customize the image overlay by making it, for example, full screen, or we can also change its shape. And if you want, you can also place it in a circle or give it rounded edges. This looks quite interesting, I think. Plus, you can easily adjust the opacity. One thing I really loved was whenever I needed to add an extra image, the suggested visuals were always relevant to the topic of my video. That absolutely blew my mind. For example, here I talk about YouTube as the search engine, so it obviously popped up some photos of the engines and also a bunch of photos of Google. And this is exactly what I need. Now for background music, essentially I have two options. I can either use music from Riverside's library or upload my own sound effects I've got from Epidemic Sound. So I'm just gonna upload a mouse click sound effect and I wanna use it in a few moments of my video. I can just click on the right word in the script and the cursor will automatically be placed in the right part of the video. So then I can drop the audio file there and tweak as needed. So the video is almost ready, but I want to send a preview to my team just to make sure that everything is all right. The best part, I don't need to export the video, upload it to Google Drive or clutter my desktop with tons of drafts. I can just share a link to the preview. This saves so much time. I love this feature. You can export your clips in formats that will suit any platform, obviously. So horizontal, vertical, square. So perfect for YouTube, Instagram, LinkedIn, you name it. And because I'm on a pro plan, I'll be able to export the video of 4K in quality. And Riverside's mobile app just got a major update. So you can now record, trim, edit, preview, and even export your videos right from your phone. So for example, you can do all the edits in browser and export right away from your mobile device. So you don't need to do the extra moving work. And just like that, following exactly the same logic, I created 30 short clips out of one long video using Riverside. And they look perfect professional, easy to follow, good quality. I saved tons of time on editing, trimming, adding subtitles, just super happy about the result. Click on the link below to try out the free plan. And if you want to upgrade to the other features, use my code ELENA15 in the checkout for 15% off on the paid plans. And if you're interested to see the entire video on how to create a YouTube channel from scratch these days and what I would do differently if I were to create one today, check out this next tutorial on my channel. Thank you.